Good morning. I'm coming to you today from 177 Pollock Road in Madrid. And uh, I'm going to try to get inside as soon as possible because the wind is whipping and it's actually quite sunny. So I'll get these goofy glasses off. But uh, I want to flip the camera around real quickly and just show you the great uh, private lane driveway that comes off of a great private, uh, well, it's not private, but essentially uh, dirt road. This is a really nice uh, secluded private spot. Um, this is one of those places that uh, if I didn't have an obsession with my house, I'd buy this one. So let's flip this around and I'll take you through. So there's the road I mentioned. You can see some of the uh, neighbor's cows. I'll pan around here, show you the front of the house. So this house has a new roof, new windows, new exterior siding, new exterior doors, new electric, new plumbing. Um, updated kitchen, updated bathrooms. It, uh, for uh, an old house with lots of character, it has uh, fantastic updates and hopefully some peace of mind for you. So, come inside here and take my shoes off. All right. And I'm obsessed with these floors. All right, so let's go into the kitchen. So we have custom maple cabinetry here. I'm gonna pan around to the other side so you can get a full view of just how big this kitchen is. And I love that from the kitchen, you have these great views into the meadow, hard to see through the screen, but um, old stone rock walls out there, it's really a pretty beautiful sight. New countertops too. Great large pantry. First floor bathroom and laundry in here. Nice big tub if you have kids. Your laundry right here. So the reason that this house has updated just about everything, um, the Amish lived here for a while and had stripped everything out. And now it's back to being what they would call an English house. So it's all been updated. We're in the living room now. If you're interested in Deer hunting, pretty much right out your back door. You can get uh, pretty good sized ones like this. I'll go out into the barn and show you a spot. I was doing a showing and I came out the back of the barn and there was a huge deer right, just like mere feet out the back door. Quite a neat experience. So I'll show you after, but there is one bedroom downstairs as well, but we have four upstairs. And this one over here is a mirror image. Great natural light. I love the old stair railing. And then we have a second full bath upstairs here. And this is an arched ceiling here, but one thing I want to point out I'm just a hair under six foot, and I can go all the way to the edge. So it's actually higher than you'd think. Not an issue for tall folks like myself. Another bedroom, this one's pretty big and has two closets. So I'll pan around and show you that. For an old house, this one certainly has a lot more closet space than you'd traditionally find in an old home. All right. And we'll go into the master bedroom now. So just to give you some perspective, we are above the kitchen right now. And again, arched ceiling, but I'm all the way to here. There's maybe three feet that I can't stand up in totally straight. So this room is actually huge. And the other neat thing, that view I pointed out in the kitchen, you have this in your master. So you're looking out into the nice rolling meadow, stone walls, and I'll tell you more about the land now, but just to give you a brief preview, you've got 68 acres here, and you abut county land, a pretty good sized chunk of it too. So um, certainly no shortage of space for recreation. And in addition to that, uh, the Ecky Road, which is an abandoned town road, is at the back of the property. So it's a great trail to explore. There's a nice brook down there, an old bridge. Lots of good character. 
So I'm gonna show you briefly before we go outside the room downstairs that could be a kid's playroom, could be a downstairs bedroom for yourself or a member of your family. Currently it's a puppy whelping station. I wish you could see these cute puppies they had, but this is a pretty good size room too. And then we're gonna go out through the mud room and I'm gonna take you into the barn. And much like the house, the barn has a new electric, um, new plumbing. So certainly if you wanna live off the grid and raise your own animals, especially given this crazy time we're living in right now, if you're feeling motivated for that, this could be the perfect spot for that. So I'm in the mudroom right now. Again, huge space, lots of storage. Your kids come in all muddy from the field, have them at least do phase one cleaning out here. And there are two heating methods here. So there's the traditional boiler in the basement, and then there's a wood-fired boiler out here in the woodshed. So take your pick there. Nice little outbuilding here you could use as a garage. Machine shed over here. Take you right into the barn. Wind is whipping. All right, here we are in the barn. I'll flick these lights on real quickly. Just to give you a perspective, wicked high ceilings. So again, just for perspective, I'm just a hair under six foot. I can extend my arms all the way up and I'm still uh, probably a foot and a half from that beam. So I'm guessing um, eight and a half, nine foot ceilings. You could easily have horses in here if you wanted come down this way. And when I mentioned in the house about seeing the big deer, this is where that happened. So I came down this alleyway right here, went to open the uh, back gate here, and there was a deer, mere feet, a large deer, just right here, just about scared the bejesus out of me. So to give you some perspective on the land, the property line is the edge of this wood line over here extending straight back to the very back of the field, taking a right angle and going, this is kind of a challenge, this way into the woods, and then all the way over, way in to where you see the tall white pines. And this line goes back and creates a right angle and you've got a fair bit of open hardwoods in here. So if you wanna have a sugar bush, or cut your own firewood and use that uh, wood boiler. Certainly a great place to do that without incurring much cost. So we'll go back in the barn real quick. I wanna take you out front to the front gardens. I can't leave this place without showing you the garden. It's another thing I'd like to take from here and bring home. I'd like to take some of that wood too. I could build a nice chicken coop. Again, you're getting an idea how long I'm walking through this, how big this barn is. Certainly a lot of potential for whatever you have envisioned. Okay. Again, new windows, new roof, new electricity, new plumbing, new countertops, new just about everything. So again, old house, but not much uh, old or worrisome left. It's really, they did a remarkable job. So we're coming out into the front. And again, this is your private lane out onto the Pollock Road. But I want to show you the front garden. In front of me, many rows of raspberries. And Amanda Tracy's asking where this is. This is 177 Pollock Road in Madrid. So if you go out past Wayne's gas station, take a right onto Planty Road, then turn onto Hegg Road, go over the one lane bridge and turn left onto Pollock. You'll find this. Okay, so raspberries, tons and tons and tons of berries, grapes, apple tree, place for your vegetable garden. This whole area in here is fenced in, so no worries about your deer. This extends all the way 
out to the Pollock Road. So I'll pan around and show you. The barn is there on the other side of the house. So quite a large piece of property, 68 acres. I see that their daffodils are popping up. All right, well, I'm gonna conclude this video. If you have any questions or if you'd like to see the property, shoot me a text, call, smoke signals, 315-869-3007. Thank you, bye-bye.